Our guest tonight is a Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter whose third album, Solar Power, is out on August 20th. Please welcome back to the show our friend, Lord. Hello. So nice to see you. Welcome back. This is, um, this is very lovely for me because I also saw you last week and I feel like we had the benefit of getting to catch up over some alcohol. We did more than just catch up. Yeah. I feel like we really closed the gap pretty fast. I think we closed the gap pretty fast. We took advantage of uh, your, you're a very scheduled person as you were doing an album launch and we only yeah. had a couple hours to drink a lot of uh, drinks. We got so blasted. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if people realize how drunk you're really getting when you do this thing. I think it was very nice that you pointed out to me earlier, you're not someone who necessarily shows right away. You have a reputation amongst your friends. Very poised, very poised drunk. You yeah. never know the difference. That's what everyone says about me. I know, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to see this thing. That's right, yeah, you it, haven't seen it yet. I'm very excited. No poise, I know. Um, congratulations on the album. Thank you. This is very exciting. Thank and you. I want to talk about some of the places uh, you were while you were working on this album. One which made sense, you went home, you were mm -hmm. in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, how is it transitioning back to a place like New York City after, which I obviously is an, another wonderful place to be, but New Zealand very different than New York City. Very different. I would say uh, the main thing I observe between uh, the difference between New Zealand and America, apart from the obvious sort of COVID protocols and such, every food at the grocery store is, it's a hot dog, but it's almonds. It's a Sundae, but it's almonds. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it's cream cheese, but it's almonds. Like, everything is made of a nut. Yeah. Do you, do you know what I mean? We don't really... We're very proud we of that. We don't have the nut you technology. Haven't brought, uh, you haven't brought well. nuts into every We have, in like, a, maybe a nut milk. Okay. But, but the, you know, full Sunday. Oh, yeah, the almonds have taken over. You know, over. the ice cream, the... It's, the almonds have taken over. So that's, that's a, the main thing. That's a, that's, I think that when, if you asked anyone what is the biggest difference between New York and New Zealand, you're the only one who would get that answer. <laughs> the nuts. <Yeah. laughs> you also went uh, to Antarctica. I did. That, now, is that something you'd always wanted to do? Always, since okay. I was a kid. I was a total history buff, completely obsessed. I'd always wanted to go, and I got the chance to do it. It's really difficult to get there. You have to get a million shots. Okay. There has to be, like, nothing physically wrong with you because there's not much kind of medical stuff down there. It's a whole process, but it was amazing. It was um, like a pilgrimage, you know. I think it's safe to say it's freezing, freezing cold. It's so cold. Okay. So cold. And it's like the height of summer, you know. It's as warm as it gets and it's freezing. But it's cold. also, uh, this obviously also makes sense, but I felt uh, dumb not realizing <laughs> until I read it. It's incredibly sunny. It's sunny all day. It, the sun does not go down. Yeah, it's, it's a, it messes with your head. Because I sure. think when you see an album called Solar Power, you start thinking about, oh, you wrote it on the beach, and yeah. obviously you spend a fair amount of time on the beach, but you were also, a, a little bit of the inspiration came from uh, Antarctica. Yeah, I guess just, like, I, you know, the album's very much about nature, and to go there and experience nature in this very raw form was really inspiring. For me. Last time you were here, which was way back, mm. was right before your second album. And we talked a little bit about when you have, um, you know, an incredibly popular uh, debut album, you have to follow it up with a sophomore album, which again was very popular. Do you feel less pressure going into a third album? Or as an artist, is it just going to be a, each time out? You know, I think last time I was so nervous. I think everyone is nervous before the second album, but it went quite well. And I think I sort of could have done anything I wanted. And this one I felt like I just made for my peers to like amuse other musicians or, you know, I was like, let's just flex and do something that will make. This musician text me being like, I see what you did there. <laughs> that's really nice. I think fun. that's a good way of going about it. Yeah. Uh, you also uh, worked with Jack Anstonoff again. I did. Um, this is someone who I imagine you have a very intensely close relationship, even though a lot of it was happening over Zoom. Yeah, we, um, we managed to not write any songs on Zoom, which was oh, that's great, because uh, I was dreading that part of it. Um, we FaceTimed a lot and just sort of like waited till we could be together again. You know, he and I have known each other for years and we knew it would happen eventually, but it was weird. We just sort of like locked down in the studio in New York. No one else could come into the room and we had the windows open, doors open the whole time. So you can kind of hear like, Sirens in the West Village, you know, it's very... Uh, that's fantastic. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much. I'm, I'm so glad you're doing a song. Um, this is really a hat trick of Lord because we got yeah. to talk to you, <laughs> we're going to get music from you, and when we come back, we're going to watch uh, Day Drinking together. So do not go anywhere, stick around. 